In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to upload to TeePublic. TeePublic is a print-on-demand website. All you have to do is have a design ready, and then after that, you're going to upload it to different products. They ship the product for you. They do the customer service. You don't have to do anything at all. Just pretty much on the first step would just be to upload your product, and then they're going to handle the rest. So once you go to this website called TeePublic.com, you're going to go to login here. Don't click on it. Just hover over it, and beneath it, it says artist sign up. So you're going to click on this. and just just a pretty easy process here. All you have to do is type in your email and create an account and just follow the steps. Once you sign up and put your email, T Public should send you an email confirmation and now you're in. So right now I am logged into my account. I'm going to go to my account, hover over it, and then you're going to go to upload a design. So on the top, you're going to see that it says upload a design. And so all you have to do is drop a file in here or click to upload. So I'm just going to drop a file in here. Once your design is uploaded, it's going to display it on the top here. And after that, you just got to go to the bottom and fill out this info right here. I do recommend that you read the file requirements for the exact dimensions. But once you have that down, all your designs can just be formatted to these dimensions. Dimensions. Okay, so for my design title, it says it's just allergy. So I'm just going to write that down. And on the left side, it says description. I'm just going to write a short sentence or two about this design. On the right side, you're going to see main tag. You're just going to write a relevant tag for this product. For this one, I'm going to write an allergy. Next, you're going to go to supporting tags. You're just going to separate them with the commas. So I'm going to do allergies. And as you can see here, when I just write allergies in here, you can see that there are different drop downs of different keywords. And I recommend using them because TeePublic is pretty much just trying to help you out with the tags. So I'm going to click on some of these. Once you're finished with supporting tags, you want to go to the next section right here. And it says, does this design contain mature content such as nudity or other adult themes? Obviously, no. So I'm going to press no. And the next section, it's going to be about the actual product. So you can see that it's white background right now for the shirt. For the default, I'm going to do black. You do not have to do black. It's just an example. You can do blue. You can do green. It doesn't matter. For this demonstration, I'm going to do black just so you can see the product and the text easier. And so for this one, you can see there is print on front, print on back. And so you can see that you can do different styles. For this demonstration, I'm just going to do on front because that's what I want. For the t-shirt, I clicked on this. And so I can move the text around. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to scale it down just a little bit. And this helps just align it. This one aligns it to the top. This one aligns it to the middle. This is very important just so if you want to align it to the middle. So I do recommend clicking on this. I do feel like it's a little high. I want it a little bit lower. So I'm just going to lower it a little bit. And I'm going to align it to the middle. Next, we're going to go to hoodies. And it's the same concept. Look at it. You see the broken lines right here. I actually like how it looks. I'm just going to leave that alone. I'm going to go to tank. This one looks really good too, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to just scale it down just a little bit. I'm going to align it to the top and align it to the middle. For this one, I'm going to do a different color. I'm going to do royal blue. For crew neck, it's going to be the same thing. Just lower it, just align it, and align it to the middle. Let's go to long sleeve. Looks pretty good. I'm going to leave it alone. Maybe change the color. I'm going to do maroon. For the baseball tee, this looks good to me for the most part, but I'm going to scale it up just a bit, align it to the middle, select the default color, and the one that was already selected looks pretty good. Let's go to kids. I'm going to make it smaller, align it, and click on a different color here. So let's try dark green. Let's go to kids hoodie, and it looks kind of small here, so let me try to scale it up. And for whatever reason, I can't scale it higher than this, but there's probably a reason for this. So I'm just going to leave that alone. Let's put it down just a little bit, align it to the middle, and maybe do teal. But as you can see for kids hoodie, it is a bit small. I'm not sure why I can't go a little bit wider, but that's how TeePublic does it. Let's go to kids long sleeve t-shirt. I'm going to do navy. This looks pretty good. I want to scale it down a little bit. Align it to the top, align it to the middle. Let's go to onesie. Again, this is kind of one of those things I can't make it bigger on the width. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, align it to the middle. That looks pretty good. Maybe lower it a little bit. And that's it.
Now, this looks all pretty good to me. Uh, the one thing I do want to mention, you do not have to enable any of this. Uh, for example, if you just wanted t-shirts, you can just disable it and just turn it off. But I do want to leave everything on because I do want to sell the actual shirts. However, if you just want to do just tanks or crew neck or most of them or all of them, you can adjust it however you wish. So feel free to disable any ones that you do not want to sell. Now there are also colors here and as you can see a lot of them are check marked and I love how Tee Public does this for you. Pretty much everything's selected so all the colors options are available for your product. And this is very important because if you have like let's say like for my example it's like a bright text right and you do, do it on a white background it may be hard to see on the product so especially if you have like a white text on a, like a white background that's probably not the best choice for your customers. So what you want to do is actually just choose the ones manually that you want or you can do pre-select ones. So for this example, I'm going to do dark and that looks pretty good to me here. So and T Public does a good job of just choosing only the dark colors, which is what I want. Also, I should mention, let's say you do dark like me. You can also bring in back any other colors by just clicking on them. All right, for the next option, you want to just click on these products right here and just click on them so for example let's go to stickers and another product is going to show up on the top and this looks good so i'm just going to leave that alone let's go to cases this looks pretty good it's the same idea you can scale it down align it to the middle this looks good maybe i want to scale it down align it to the middle let's go to mugs here now this is way too big so let's scale it down I want it on the right side, so let's put it to the right side. And see, you see these broken lines it shows up, so that's really helpful. I'm going to scale it down a little bit, and I'm going to align it. Well, these didn't work, so I have to align it manually because it's going to align it to the middle. So I'm going to align it to the middle with this. I'm going to align this. That looks good. Next one, wall art, different ratios. I'm going to do this one, like an Instagram one style. You could do portrait or landscape. Let's go to notebooks. This looks pretty good. This one needs to go smaller. Align it to the middle. Let's go to pillows. Align it to the middle. Tote bags. Get it to the center. And as you can see, I'm just pretty much doing the same thing, just adjusting each product. And the same idea I should mention here, I do not have to turn on all of them. I could turn it off if I wanted to. So if I didn't want tote bags, I can just turn it off. Let's go to pins, magnets, and you can see that I'm going pretty fast, right? It doesn't take too long. And that's it. I'm done. So let's go to the bottom. Everything looks good. Just make sure that you checked everything. If you can see the mugs, it says there's nothing on it. But if you click on it, it shows up. It's just on the other side. So you want to check mark this and then press publish.